So here we go with an Until I Die run through The Legend of Zelda, the 1986 game for the NES. I've already got my name placed in here. Let's do this shit. So I think I did a first levels for this, and it was some years ago, but it's been a long time, really, since I played through this game. A really long time, in fact, that since I've really played through this game, so I don't know how long I'm going to make it. I remember where the first dungeon is, and I think I can find the second dungeon, but the third one, ugh. So here's the thing. Although, uh, I must have mentioned this a thousand times, though, but, you know... Games were expensive, so I wasn't going to get games all the time, so the game that I happen to have gotten... This is actually my brother's game. Got it for Christmas, I think. Whatever game we had was the game we had for quite a while. And it's like, well, it's the, next, it's the only game you're going to get until your birthday or something like that. And if somebody gives you a, a game for your birthday, fan-fucking-tastic, you got another game. <laughs> Shit was expensive! There, I got all my health back. So I did play this game a fair amount, but I'd have to say I didn't, I can't say I really liked this game when I was a kid, which is why I haven't revisited it a lot as an adult. I'm not sure what I didn't like about it. I guess maybe, because I loved um, A Link to the Past, the SNES Zelda game, which is more or less the same format, just a better version of it. <laughs> I think maybe my problem, aside from being a kid, I don't know how, oh, he's got the key. Fucking skeletons. You're all gonna die now. You're all gonna die. Money. I guess uh, I could say that the reason why this didn't really speak to me much was because although it's a great concept and this is a, like a, really a sort of true, like, innovative game in its day, it's not one that I think really hit the mark. I think that it, what it did was done better later, like the technology of the NES, or maybe even if the developers had just had a second try, on this hardware, as opposed to doing Zelda 2, which was trash. Hershey's Kisses. There we go. Maybe if they'd had a second try, they would have pulled it off a little bit better. Yeah, okay. But definitely, the technology of this console limited what they could pull off. It's a cracker. <laughs> so maybe that, that's the reason why I didn't like it. was because it's just not good enough hardware to pull off their vision. The SNES, you know, it did so many things better. The SNES um, Zelda game, I mean, did so many things better. The map design, the environment design, the story of it, the gameplay, the fact that Link could move at a bit of an angle. <laughs> so much better. And even, um, I guess you could say that perhaps the... You know, what I did say, that if they had a second try on this console, perhaps they would have done a better job. You know what? They kind of did, in a way. I'm not talking about Zelda 2. I'm talking about... Um, Link's Awakening, which was a Game Boy game. Now, the Game Boy and the NES are not the same machine. Architecturally, they're very different. But they're often considered to be like, the Game Boy is just the tiny black and white NES, in a way. Because their capabilities were similar. And the Link to the Past, uh, uh, the Legend of Zelda game made for that console was pretty damn good. It was, of course, limited, not enough buttons, shit like that, but it was definitely better than this. Sort of like made in the style of Link to the Past, but for the original NES. Or made for the... I don't have a key. 
I can't get through that door. Motherfucker, die! I gotta find a key. Alright, you're all gonna... Oh, wait, no, there's a door I never went in. It's just a compass. Maybe if I kill all of them, I'll get a key. That's a no. Alright, you're all gonna die. Because you might have a key. And you got money. Remember, money was something that you don't really... Oh, there we go. You don't really use a hell of a lot of in this game. There's some stuff you can buy, but you don't really need it. Well, there's, I think there's some stuff you do need, but you're going to get way more money than you actually need to beat the game. I think it's maximum, uh, the maximum amount of money you can have is 255, because it's an 8-bit 8 uh, 8 word. Oh! I said... Oh, that's right. Boomerang. <laughs> so I remember we got this game. And it was my brother's game, not mine. So, of course, he played it first. So he played it first. And he played it for a while. And we're all sitting there. Me and my sister are sitting there watching him. Okay, these things aren't going to stop. Let me go, bitch. <laughs> Back to the beginning. We're just sitting there watching him, waiting for him to get finished so we can give it a try. And he gets the... He gets the boomerang, and he thinks that is the freaking prize. What did I get in the, uh, uh, the bow? He thinks that that is what you need to use to kill the dragon. So he's standing there, and he's just whipping the thing with the boomerang. <laughs> Don't know why I remember this. I don't think we got the game when it was new. I don't think I'd remember this. I would've been way too young. We didn't get an NES until... pretty close to the end of that thing's lifespan. Or, at, like, when it was before the SNES released, I think. Probably less than a year. Alright, here comes the dragon. Is he just sitting there whipping this thing <laughs> with the boomerang? <laughs> Where he realized, oh, shit, I gotta stab it. I don't think he said shit. He was probably like eight. Ah, motherfucker. There he is. And I got health. And we got a little chunk of Triforce. The boomerang is pretty awesome, because it will freeze enemies. Alright. Fuck, I'm getting my ass beaten by these weird things. Now, where was the second dungeon? Not this way, that's pretty... What are these things supposed to be? I always thought they were like broccoli or something. Alright, I don't think this is where the second dungeon is, so I'm gonna bug out. Hey, where's in here? Ah, the shop. Buy something, will ya? Okay. <laughs> I caved the peer pressure. Why I hated going in the, into uh, Radio Shack. Every time I walked in there, the motherfuckers are trying to sell me shit. Like, leave me alone. I know what I'm looking for. <laughs> I think I had to go east. For the second dungeon. I mean, I do recognize that they did a lot of stuff in this game. 
that really hadn't been done before. So you saw, like, Dragon Warrior and stuff like that at the time. The RPGs, the overhead view, the whole world to explore. I don't think Final Fantasy came out until a little later, and I definitely didn't play that game when it was new. I didn't play Final Fantasy until 6 or Mystic Quest. One of those two was the first game. So those were SNES. But, uh, like, there were games... I guess Hydlide was contemporary to Legend of Zelda. So, there's that. Hello, old lady. Alright. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, shit. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Oh, there is the fairy fountain up here, though. If I can get my health back up so I don't die right away. But this kind of openish environment is something that was would have been new. And the game does have a certain non-linear structure to it. Because I think you could... So there is the second dungeon that I'm trying to reach. Which I don't remember where it is. So I'm failing to reach it. But, you know, there... Okay, this is a this is like the fourth dungeon or something like that. I'm sure somebody's watching this video right now, screaming at their phone or their computer monitor, like, "It's just to the left, you fucking idiot." <laughs> I I agree. Why are you wearing my clothes? Is this, like, the fashion? Okay, so, this might be a dungeon. One of these dudes has, uh... One of these dudes has... There it is. This is not a dungeon. <laughs> oh, the ring! The ring adds, um... I don't have money for any of this shit. <laughs> it's like armor. Uh, taking a beating. And I forgot that I had the boomerang. Should have been using it. <laughs> I really should just look up where the second dungeon is. Alright, so I'm gonna head west. Or head east. I was heading... I was heading west before. <laughs> I've probably, like, walked through the screen that would have taken me to the next dungeon. If you didn't have a guide, you'd really have to do a lot of experimenting to find your way around. And I guess for some people that can be frustrating. I mean, you don't see games do that. Come on, Tinkerbell. Get up here. Like, if you... But games back in the day were really just not designed to be terribly, like... Uh, I don't need you. Intuitive, in a lot of ways. Like, nowadays, you would find this... Fuck, I hate these things. <laughs> nowadays, you would have the whole thing be, like... They'd put a marker on the distance, in the distance, and you'd have to run to it. Be like, hey, you know what? This way. <laughs> Alright, screw it. I am looking it up. Alright. <laughs> uh, I'm actually not far from it. And... Uh, that's just a stupid way. <laughs> I 
Damn it, I went the same way I was. What? Fuck you guys, you're all gonna die. Somebody give me some health. Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna die. There we go. And we got any more? I'm gonna have to kill all of you. Sorry to say. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so... See about this. Chumps charging at me? Coming at me? You're gonna come at me? You're gonna assault my person? Just trying to be friendly, you know? At least they come at you and don't dodge your attacks. So the compass just sort of points you in the direction of the dragon, the dungeon boss. Or either that or that's the, uh, that's the location of a Triforce piece. I don't know. So that was an unnecessary key. Because as you're exploring around these dungeons, you're going to find... You're going to find the, the dungeon boss at some point. The dungeons aren't that big. Man, I got him with that, and then I got him with the the beam, too. What did I get? <laughs> I don't have a key. I'm sure there are people out there who have strategies for this game, where they'll go and not, uh, not unlock certain doors that will allow them to get like, they can save a key from this dungeon for the next dungeon. Motherfucker. What did I... Okay, I got a key. <laughs> like, avoiding that room would be nice. <laughs> Do I avoid you, or do I stab you? I stab you. What the hell are you supposed to be, anyway? <laughs> Fire snake? At least there's a bunch of them, so that way there's a good chance I'll get... I need hearts! No hearts! What's wrong with you? Ugh. So I'm close to the dragon. That will help. Yeah, that's what I need. Bombs. I already had a full complement of bombs. Oh, that's a fucking Triceratops. <laughs> oh, I can't get you from the face. Oh, is this the one where I gotta throw bombs at him? Alright, motherfucker. Ah! This way! Come this way. Oh, you stick him in his face! <laughs> and I got more health. Fan fucking tastic. And I got the Triforce already. I did not get the item though. There's always an item in these things. Is 
There's supposed to be... Most of these dungeons have some kind of an item. I'm going back in. <laughs> Is this one of those ones with a bomb? You bomb a wall. Alright, so I guess it's not. <laughs> Why'd you lead me in here? <laughs> I just want my prize. I want my shit. I have three keys, meaning there are three freaking doors I never unlocked. There's one. Fucking... Okay, so the, ne the next room up has a door to the right. I guess this is just a mini-boss, so it's not going to respawn. Alright, so this has got to be where, considering they gave us bombs here. There we are. <laughs> Dongo? Dun-dun... Dogon? Thanks for the useless advice. Do I gotta use a key here? This will just take me in the room I've already been in. I'm getting plenty of money. I can start buying some of that shit. you. Alright. I'm out. Fuck it. He dislikes smoke. I guess he dislikes smoke, but he doesn't mind, uh... I would have thought getting bombs jammed down his throat would have been what he disliked. Uh, another way. Yes, there is. This is not helpful. <laughs> I have a bomb left. Nope. Some bombs. Let me just bomb my way out of this dump. It's got to be something I'm. Uh, it's got to be something I'm missing here. Cause there's always. Isn't there always a treasure? I didn't get anything here, did I? Unless the bombs are the treasure. That's pretty dumb. <laughs> now, let me bomb this wall. And let's just get out of here. Head to number three while I still have a key in hand. 
number three is to the west. Nowadays, even though this environment, this map, isn't that large, that'd still be like a fast travel system. <laughs> I mean, fast travel systems make sense in modern games because they tend to be so big. Like, I was playing uh, Oblivion back when that was a new game. And I didn't discover the fast travel system until an embarrassing amount of time into playing that game. So every time I needed to get somewhere, I'd run there. I'd ride a horse, or whatever the fuck I'd do. And that took for fucking ever. Eventually, when I figured out the fast travel system, I'm like, oh, because I refuse to read instructions. I, once I discovered that, it was like, oh, this whole game makes sense now. None of this shit made any sense before. <laughs> There we go. Full power. Full power! Bitch. Ah, it's green. Them big Hershey's kisses. I kill you, then I murder your progeny. Am I supposed to be the hero? I was expecting something from my trouble, but you know, it's all right. There we go. Now that's called a reward. <laughs> you're the ones I need to kill with bombs? Or do I kill you with arrows? Yeah, you're, you're bombs. Can't do anything about you. Why can't I select the bow? How do I? I know. I remember using um, using the arrows burns rupees, so it just costs you money to fire off the bow. It doesn't. Uh... Ah, fuck it. Moving on. <laughs> Hey, I think I needed those. <laughs> yeah, you can't pick that up with the broken boomerang. You know, I think maybe... I'm supposed to have the metal sword, the, the white sword. By this point. So I just screwed myself over going into this dungeon. Okay, I guess you push. Freaking D-pad on an Xbox controller sucks dick. No, in fact, I was just talking about that. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, 
you know, I used to actually believe that you would kill, that people would kill bats with boomerangs. It's like, I thought that's what they did in Australia all the time. Just whipping bats out of the sky with boomerangs. Old guy, what the hell are you doing in here, anyway? Creeping me out, just hanging out in this dungeon, waiting for me to show, show up. Like, oh yeah, did you wander into a waterfall and get a sword? Oh shit, it's 4.30. In 20 minutes. I'll have to die in 20 minutes. <laughs> Right. Die! Die! I said die! Motherfucker! Okay, maybe this isn't how you kill him. Well, how do I get out of this room? You know what? Maybe I needed to get the better sword to kill these guys. I just realized that the, um, uh, the map is a backward swastika. Oh, you can stab these motherfuckers from the side! I mean, you're throwing bombs at them like a fucking psycho. I'm an idiot. Stabbed that one by the face. I guess they're like me, they got their shield. Only they don't have to put their shield aside to use their sword. Don't die here by these little shits. Dude, give me a heart. Just give me a heart. Give me a heart. A heart. I said a heart. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, alright. Ah! Whoa, how did I not die? <laughs> how did I not die there? I think, I think, if I can get out of this room, I think I need to just... retreat. I think I need to, ah! Just retreat, get the fuck out of this dungeon, find some health, come back. <laughs> Now that I know where the Nazis are, come back with some health. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Man, I suck at this game. I did make it out, though. Alright, so I'm not that far from... Ah! Ah! Motherfucker, get out of the way. <laughs> I'm not that far from the fairy fountain. And we're good. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Let's go to the, the waterfall. I remember where they get the metal sword. Let's let's go that way. And get that so I can not be such a wuss. So this away. You know, traversal doesn't really take that long. You can proceed from one side to the map to the other inside of a couple of minutes. But just traveling does kind of feel a little bit dull. Now the game, the world map in uh, Link to the Past is actually pretty small. Smaller than this one, I think. Well, definitely smaller than this one. But it's so packed with detail, like, you don't find 
um, screens that just look like this, where it's just space you're occupying. Uh, it's either here or it's up that ladder. Or it's up that ladder. Uh, we're in the area. Oh, shit. I'm in some kind of a never-ending map. Oh, here we are. There we go. Boom! I think I do better damage now. <laughs> Let's go killing. Not like it's gonna do any good against these things. They go down one hit anyway, but we're starting to run into more and more monsters to take damage. Fuck! What is this about? <laughs> Did I pick up any items in that last dungeon? Say, these things used to take more than one hit. Now, down in one. I am the damage master. Yeah, at 37 minutes, <laughs> there are people that probably would have had this game beaten by now. I'm still trying to finish the third dungeon. I left the third dungeon to upgrade my sword. There are people who can beat this game without using a sword at all. You know, do I gotta buy arrows? Is that how this works? Maybe I gotta buy arrows to use it. I thought for sure it was one of those, um, you have to just use the bow and it takes a rupee every time you fire it. But, I don't know. Ooh, you bitches die in one hit. Hey, you like me now, motherfucker. Not so tough, are ya? Let's see how you die. You still can't take damage from the front, I imagine. Two hits! Wow, that's way less than... Way less than I was dealing with. Well, now that I can potentially kill you, let's get in this room, because this has probably got the prize in it. I don't know how I didn't take damage there. <laughs> Run away. Dead. <laughs> yep, here we go. Motherfucker, what? <laughs> Slowing the game down, there's so many of them. Fuck, I'll just take a hit and run through. The raft! I was wondering about the raft. That's not going to do me any good in this dungeon, but that helps you traverse across um, rivers, I guess. Still got two keys. Now. <laughs> um, which way was it? I do like how you can hear the. I do like how you can hear the boss dragon from a room away. 
Like, yeah, I'm getting close. This thing sounds like it wants to eat me. <laughs> I don't have much more health than I did the last time I did this. Fucking hell. Here we go again. Gonna give me a heart. Give me a heart. Fuck it, let's just do this. Oh, this is the one with the... This one where you need the, uh... The bombs, right? Oh, shit! This thing's pissed! <laughs> and I win. <laughs> I thought it was done for. <laughs> Alright, so let's take... Let's stop by a shop and see if there's anything in there that I can buy. Even the beam is killing the blue ones now. So I feel like there's definitely something I'm missing with the bow. I don't have enough for... I can get the candle, though. The candle lets you burn shit. And it can reveal, like, secret passageways. Like, there's one up here. There's two up here. Uh, let's see if I can remember where... Well, this one was easy. I think this one was right on the tip. Uh no, what's wrong about that? Yes, yes, I was right. It's another shop. Oh, this dude's selling a cheaper shield. And meat. Now, this one here was always a pain in the ass, because I didn't know where it was. So I would always, whenever I was trying to get through here, like, through trial and error, just burn every damn bush. But you can't, uh, with the blue one anyway, you can only... You can only, um... Does the fire have to settle on top of the flame? Ah, I burned myself. Like a bitch. <laughs> Alright, so it's pro- I want to say it's probably in the middle. Ah, damn it. I don't think that would have done anything. I don't understand why it works after you leave the room and come back. I think the fire hurts enemies too, but it's not really useful as a weapon. All right, screw it. We're getting out of here. <laughs> There's probably nothing in there anyway. Yeah, I think this is the way here. There he is. Level four. I got a collection of keys built up. Ideally, that... Or theoretically, that would make future dungeons easier, since I don't have to go key hunting. What the fuck is that supposed to be? He turned into bats. Is he a vampire or something? Oh, good. It's dark in here. 
That's what these are for. <laughs> oh, that is a son of a bitch way to design a room, huh? Gonna be so lucky. I don't really remember where any of the the bomb walls are. So you're gonna see me wasting a lot of bombs in this game. <laughs> Until I die, that is. Hey, that's the name of the show. Freaking Xbox controllers, their D-pads are so ass. I keep running in the walls. Even like the newer ones, not even like the 360. The 360 was notoriously bad. But even this, which is a an Xbox One Elite controller, still, it's just bad. The D-pad is just not good. I'll just set something on fire. That'll light the entire room up. playing your gimmick. Let's keep the damn torch out, I guess. Damn it. Leave me alone. <laughs> I think I can cross this. Oh, no. I guess that's maybe what the... The item of this dungeon is. You have the raft and you have some other kind of thing that'll let you cross short bodies of water. What the fuck? Die! <laughs> I, I don't have the one that lets me pass short bodies of water, but I will pass long, big bodies of water, so that makes a lot of sense. See, this was the problem that the... No, look at that. I can't do shit here. This was the problem that the Legend of Zelda game on the Game Boy had, was that you couldn't... Um, you only have two buttons on the thing. And there are more than two buttons worth of activities to do. So, like, oh, well, I got bombs, and I got boomerang, and I got bow, and I got this, and I got that, and I got... Two buttons, like, well, one of them's gonna have to be the sword, isn't it? Damn you. Uh, these things take your shield, don't they? Took my sword! Oh, okay, I got it back. <laughs> hey, how about you die? Gotta be something in here. There we are. Yeah, the ladder. That's what it was. I don't know why I couldn't use the raft. But when you had, like, Link to the Past, you had six buttons on that controller. So you could map something to the Pegasus boots, you could map something to this, you could map something to that, you could do so much more. This, you know what, I don't think this was enough. <laughs> Yeah, how am I supposed to get across this? I can only move one square. Whatever, we'll be fine.
<laughs> that works way too way too good. I don't remember using the torch, uh, the candle, as being that effective as far as being a weapon goes. Uh, another one of you. I don't have any bombs, so I'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Stabby, stab, stab. I don't have a lot of health, so I'm gonna have to be careful. Meaning, I'm gonna die. Fuck, I'm dead. Alright. <laughs> 50 minutes, 51... 50, 50 minutes, 51 seconds. Better... Um, better than I thought. To avoid damaging game save, hold your reset button as you turn power off. Was that something you had to do on the NES? I don't remember having to do that. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. Or continue, or something, who cares, whatever.